It's been said by many uh, senior scientists that quantum theory and relativity in, are incompatible, and yet these are two of the pillars of modern cosmology. Not only that, we don't understand gravity, as you can see from that title on the astronomy magazine. Is there something we don't know about gravity? There certainly is. And one of the things that I've been trying to get across to people is that physics today is adorned with complex mathematics. It's become a kind of a game, like a, a complex three-dimensional chess game almost. You have a set of rules that you have to follow and a person who knows those rules and is very clever at applying them can do some wondrous things. But the question comes down to how do you tell what physical situation requires what particular mathematical representation? Because mathematics is just a representation of what we observe. It describes behaviour. The result of the confusion in modern science is that we have inconsistent language where, for instance, mathematicians use the word dimension. Now, in mathematics, that can mean a degree of freedom. It doesn't mean what we mean in the real world, one of the orthogonal directions and the distance of an object, for instance, or the size of a room measured by three orthogonal axes and a length. And yet, we know that Einstein introduced time as a dimension, but time is a concept. It has nothing to do with a real dimension. So this misappropriation of the word dimension results in confusion. And then we have meaningless language. When you put two words together, like space and time, there's two concepts held together uh, which have no connection except in mathematical terms when you look at the distance of something and it takes a certain amount of time to travel to it and you get this concept of space-time, but it is not real. And it's confusing. This has resulted in computerised virtual reality. We're very clever at producing wonderful uh, presentations of virtual reality. We see the Big Bang, we see how galaxies are formed, we see all kinds of things on television. They're unreal, they're virtual reality. Several scientists have said that they are confused and that we need new concepts to be able to find our way out of the morass that we find ourselves in now. It's impossible to devise a real cosmology from mathematical principles alone. To begin with, you need the physical concepts and then they can be subjected to empirical confirmation, experiment and observation, and, of course, no miracles are allowed. Now, science at present, or physics, has several miracles. One is the Big Bang. Another one is the creation of matter. Another one is the annihilation of matter. These are forbidden by the principles of physics, and yet we hear it all the time. Two particles collide and they annihilate. That's nonsense, and it's confusing. And in my opinion, cosmology, since it's the queen of the sciences, the overarching science, everything else has to fit under that umbrella, it has to be interdisciplinary. You can't sit in an ivory tower and just uh, calculate away and hope to come up with an answer to the meaning of life. <laughs> <laughs>